you know sometimes when you're on the road traveling things just pop up unexpectedly like a sick pet welcome to rv street So we got to this campground a couple of days ago and our nine-year-old Yorkie just started really acting funny. He wasn't eating right, he was walking around all lethargic and we knew something was wrong. He'd been sick before. We had antibiotics on hand and we knew that this was probably what it was. So we started him on antibiotics and now it's time to go to Kroger's and get some baby food and strengthen him so he can recover. So let's go. Well, this is our little dog, Wookie, a nine-year-old Yorkie, and we're up here in Conroe, Texas, and he's gotten sick. He's not eating, and so we're actually spoon-feeding him um, and got him on antibiotics, and right now I'm feeding him he ate a whole jar of uh, chicken yesterday, the baby food. This is beef. And he kind of fights it a little bit. But when I, I kind of get it up there and I just kind of wipe it up in his mouth. And he'll eat because he's got to get nourishment to help him recover. And I got this little bib on him because he was kind of getting messy yesterday. And then this is some sweet potatoes, baby food sweet potatoes. And uh, he was like, he likes both of these. You just kind of pour it in there and wipe it up there, and then he'll just lick it off. But he's just not eating on his own. And yesterday, well, today's the third day. And yesterday I was getting kind of concerned about it, so I went to uh, Kroger's after reading online that uh, a lot of veterinarians uh, recommend feeding baby food. It's easy to digest and easy to get in there. And so I thought I'd just try a spoon and The spoon is actually working pretty good. And he's eating. And yesterday he ate a whole jar of chicken and a whole one of these of potatoes, sweet potatoes. And feeding it just like this. I gave it to him in two different, I gave him, fed him two different times. One in the afternoon and one in the evening. Um, half a jar of chicken and half a thing of sweet potatoes twice yesterday and he polished that off and I just take this wet paper towel and clean off his his man beard you got a man beard Woogie? we call him we've nicknamed him RV Wook we're in Conroe, Texas right now, and I don't know, as soon as we got up here, just a couple days later, he got sick, and we think it's just all the nonsense that's out there in the grass or whatever. We're not really sure what's going on, but he's definitely a lot better than he was a couple, three days ago. Did you like that? Say hi. Hi. Hi.
Thanks, Dad, for the dinner. Well, it was quite a scare with Wookie. Um, he was, like we said, you know, he wasn't eating, he was sleeping. Uh, he's had uh, bacterial infections before. Uh, he was actually walking around like he was drunk and lethargic, and we knew that uh, he was in uh, bad shape. So I had called the vet, discussed the terms, or his symptoms, I should say, with him. And we started him on antibiotics, went to Kroger, got some baby food, and just pretty much babied him for the, about the next three or four or five days. But luckily, yes, he has totally recovered and everything is good. And uh, so we're happy, Wookie's happy, and uh, we're out of the woods.